This is question 11. Here we're told that the lines y equals x minus 2 and x plus y equals 10 are drawn on the grid, and we can see those here. Then we're told that on the grid, mark with a cross each of the points with integer coordinates that are in the regions defined by y is greater than x minus 2, x plus y is less than 10, and x is greater than 3. Now, before we start answering this question, let's first of all think about the regions which satisfy these inequalities. And let's just take this first one. Y is greater than x minus 2. Now, we've been given the graph of y equals x minus 2. What we can say then is that the inequality y is greater than x minus 2, that that will simply be in the region which is above the line. Because if y is equal to x minus 2, that's all of the points, all of the coordinates which are on that line, then that means that all of the coordinates which are greater than that are going to be in the region that I've just shaded in here. Now, if we just think about this a little bit further and, and kind of talk about this from the perspective of actually taking one of the coordinates in this region. So if I were just to take, say, this coordinate here. OK, so that's the coordinate 2, 7. Now, what we would hope and what I what we have kind of shown by shading this area in is we're hoping that all of the coordinates in this region, that the y coordinate will be greater than the x coordinate minus 2. Now, the x coordinate here is 2. And so 2 minus 2 equals 0. We can see that the y coordinate is 7. And so that means that we are correct. The y coordinate, 7, is greater than the x coordinate, 2 minus 2. OK, so that's what we're talking about here. Now, rather helpfully in this question, they've already drawn two of the uh, two of the straight lines which we are that are being used to define the region that we're looking to try and um, mark with crosses so we've we've got this point here we know that it's going to be coordinates which are above this line we then know that it's x plus y is less than 10 so that means it's going to be also um, it's going to be coordinates which are above this line y equals x minus 2 but below this line, x plus y equals 10. To work this out in full, what we are going to need to do is we're also going to need to draw on this grid the line x is equal to 3. So drawing this onto our grid, x is equal to 3 is simply a straight line that goes through the x coordinate at 3. Then what we are talking about here is coordinates where x is greater than 3. So quite simply, we're talking about all of the points which are to the right of that line that I've just drawn. So let's start marking off these with a cross. So y is greater than x minus 2. It's going to be above that line. Above this line, y equals x minus 2. It has to be below x plus y equals 10, so below that line, and it needs to be the, to the right of this line. So the coordinates that we are going to mark are going to be the following. All of the coordinates in this region just here. Note here that I haven't marked any coordinates on the line, and the reason for that is because all of my inequalities are either greater than or less than. There is no greater than or equal to. If, for example, it had y was greater than or equal to x minus 2, then I could also mark with crosses um, the points which are on that line y equals x minus 2. 
So final answer would be just to mark with crosses the coordinates uh, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5 and 5, 4, 